Yay! Almost missed the landing zone. Fundamental defect of thought. Yeah? I posted a video a few days ago about fields and where science has failed us completely. Lo and behold, which was no surprise to me, <laughs> got some nice responses and people using interesting concepts to attack what I said. I said science never defined a field, which they never have. And they talked about fields with uh, abstract concepts. Yeah. And this is really important. You should actually think about that if you fundamentally want to understand Mother Nature. Yeah. There are things in nature, and then there are things that human beings, typically dumb men, created as concepts, little things so they could talk with one another. But these things don't exist in nature. But they talk about fields in relationship to these concepts. And there are a few things. There are these many things that actually don't exist, like time, space, waves, emptiness. There's a list of them, okay? I actually have a pyramidal magnet here, by the way. I have a few of these for experimentation. This is the one and only time that you can genuinely say, and it's demonstrable, that uh, pyramid power does exist because it actually focuses the magnetic field right to this tip and you put a gauss meter right here on the tip and it's, it screams. It doesn't literally scream, but it's just really high uh, gauss, uh, Tesla gauss reading right here at the tip because it works exactly like a fireman's nozzle that brings water to a point. The magnetic uh, toroidal field shoots right out there, but it doesn't actually shoot out there. It's the actual dielectric field loss of that energy or inertia. So, and, of course, if you believe modern science, there are virtual photons being emitted from the tip of this magnet. And that, of course, is completely ridiculous. So, But I want people to understand, and it's so very important, that these concepts that people wrote to me in the comments about attacking the, and I don't care if people attack me, attacking the fields video, these, these are not things in nature. They don't actually exist. I'm going to list a few of them here. They kept using these exact same words over and over again, which they always do. Um, points. So let's just think as a point in nature. A line. Force. Force is not a thing. Force is done by something upon something else relative to something else. Force is not a thing. Magnetism is the force vector of loss of energy or inertia of the dielectric. It's a three-dimensional force vector. But the force itself doesn't exist. There's actually a, an enormous force vector occurring right at the tip of this pyramid magnet. This is a powerful little sucker. You can actually feel it. You place, you're not touching my nose. or You can feel it on your wrist, on your nose, and on your lips. It's actually that powerful, believe it or not. These are actually hard to get, which is really weird. People love experiment. People love magnets. They would really love experimenting with these. You know, but there's nothing, you know, emitting from the tip of this magnet, all fields are ether perturbation modalities. A magnet is a point source object. What is occurring here is a three-dimensional torsional vector of the loss of energy or inertia in the circuit of the dielectric and the magnetic of the specific physical object, which is a point source object, which of course is a magnet, which is qualitative. But these things that these people talk about, they don't exist anywhere in nature. Points, lines, force. A vector? A vector is purely conceptual. Numbers. Mother Nature doesn't deal in numbers. Mother Nature deals in pressure mediation. That's all Mother Nature deals in. Mother Nature, like I said before, is hairy, a hairy armpit chick with muddy feet and a hemp skirt. She doesn't have a calculator or a slide rule. There's no real Mother Nature. I'm just using that analogously, okay? Some people attack me for that. <laughs> it's like, just you know, go with the analogy, will you? Acceleration. We'll talk about acceleration. Acceleration of what, by what, due to what. Energy. There's something else in the branch of science. They can't actually define the word energy itself. They can't. They can talk about different forms of energy, which, take, uh, which are measurable, demonstrable. As long as you include a temporal variable and a given result measured in joules, watts, volts, amps, so on and so forth, columns. These concepts not only do not exist in nature, they don't interact with other things. They're not things themselves. They're not noumena, a thing in itself, the essa or essence of what something is.
There's not a single scientist on this earth that can tell you what's going on outside of this very powerful pyramidal magnet. They can't do it. It's emitting virtual photons. No, it's not emitting anything. What do you think the field around it is? It's an ether perturbation modality. It's the ether itself. Concept. There's no concept. There's no points here. There's no lines. Lines came up arbitrarily from looking at uh, uh, iron filings over top of a magnet. They'd see lines. What they're actually looking at is a constructive and destructive interference between the magnetic and the dielectric. Constructive and destructive interference. Well, look, you just see lines. If you actually sprinkle iron filings over top of a magnet, you see lines. And this is it. Lines of force. That's where the lines of force came from, by the way. Okay? That's exactly where it came from. Mother Nature doesn't have any lines. Mother Nature has fields and field condensates. You know what a field condensate is? It's matter. And all matter is compounded hydrogen. Helium is a, uh, a double compound of hydrogen. So on and so forth. Gold, everything. Uranium, everything. It's just a, a compound of hydrogen. And matter, of course, is nothing other than a super high energy version of light. And I was the first person to point that out, at least as far as I know, years and years ago, and it was recently confirmed. So, and these people were attacking me in the comments. Not many, just a few of them. And I don't care about them attacking me. It's not interesting. You need to be able to see through these people. When you have an intellect and a sharp mind, you could read something someone says and you can see right through them, just like they're a piece of transparent paper. None of these things exist in nature. Points, lines, force, vectors, numbers, acceleration. Those are not things, they're concepts. Concepts do not interact. Concepts are not things that do things. These are things that are wholly unreal, like unicorn farts and leprechaun gold. These are inventions of men. These are not things of Mother Nature. These are not things that we can point to, get a point, point to in nature, because they don't exist. Can't you see that? I wish these people could see that, but they can't see that. They keep using these words. Until they can define what a field is, which is really easy, it's an ether perturbation modality, that's all a field is, they can never explain anything. Sure, I can. You can explain everything with math. Math is superficially descriptive, but it's not explicative. It doesn't explain anything. All the formulas in the world can never tell you what the essence of what something is. There is no math formula that can tell you what a field is. Not a one. There is, I dare you to point to one. It says right here what a field is. I'm part of one of the Maxwellian field equations. It doesn't tell you what a field is. It tells you demonstrable, measurable criteria for determining field movements, powers, vectors. It doesn't tell you what a field is. When you have wisdom, you can see through these people just like they're transparent. Why is that important? Because it means you've leveled up. You've leveled up several levels. The higher you rise in the rungs of wisdom, the more clearly you're able to see. You're not down there in the muck and rabble of everybody else who just keeps cackling the same garbage. Points, lines, <laughs> points, lines, vectors, points, lines, vectors. These are concepts. They're not things in nature. Did I make that abundantly clear? I hope you have everybody has a wonderful week. Thank you.